Hello and welcome to another episode of Game on Onesies. I'm Slash Raptor, and this is Red Dead Redemption 2. We're playing as Arthur Morgan, obviously. So Jose is going into this house here to cause a distraction, and I'm supposed to steal some sort of a stagecoach. I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm playing in first person mode because I just kind of figured out you can do that. I think I'm supposed to go this way. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? Free. Final. All right. What have we got in here? Nothing. Fantastic. Ooh, take this. Three point five dollars. Oh, jeez, this is gonna take a while. Uh, what else is there that we can take from here? What about in here? In this chest. Ooh, a platinum band. That should give us a lot. Ooh, that was good. And a money clip. Okay, we're making progress here. Alright, we're halfway through now. It looks like they're not in the house. So I think I'm okay to open this door. And we're gonna go into this chest here. And let's take the pearl necklace. And then we're gonna take this money clip. Alright, we still need a bit more profits though. Uh, what about this? Can I take any of those? Oh, there's an upstairs. We can go upstairs. Ooh, some bourbon. Good stuff. Not that I drink it, but it's good stuff. Carrots. Take all these vegetables and stuff. That's lots of good profit here. Oh, I can't take any more? Alright. Crouch down. Go up the stairs. Carefully, Arthur, careful. We only need 85 more cents. Do I get bonus points if I end up with more than I needed? There's a coin purse, we'll take that. And this money clip. Okay, there we go. Get to the barn unseen. Alright, now, which building of the. Which one of these. Gun farted buildings is the. See, that there was me trying to sound like one of those old people who makes up weird words to describe something that they don't like. You know, it's like, put the jigger in the old whatever. Okay, I think it's this way. Okay, I think I went in the wrong door. This door. This door. Eh. Can I open this, or do I have to shoot the lock at it? Ah, crap. Well, that didn't work. You want a piece of me, boy? Alright then, let's do this. First person mode, go. I'm still alive, though. I don't think so. I was trying to get the stagecoach, but the door was locked. And I wasn't smart enough to go in this big door here. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, get in. How do I get in? Oh, other side, I guess? I am the worst cowboy in the history of cowboys. Stand up, Morgan. Let's go. Come on, move. Oh, 
Oh, open the door. <laughs> Get in the stagecoach. This first person. Oh, here he goes. Okay, now we can go. Get on, Arthur. We don't have time to mess around here. How do I get on? This? Ah! I'm trying to get. Get on, Arthur. Come on, let's go. What do I do? Why won't it let me on the stagecoach? I'm trying to get on. I'm trying, but it's not doing anything. Which of these stupid buttons do I push to get on? There, okay. Alright, I'm just going this way, crossing these train tracks. I'm just gonna run. I'm just running. I'm just gonna run. I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't even do anything. I just kept running. <laughs> so I just recently learned... <clears throat> I didn't want to kill them, I just didn't see that there was a big barn door. I thought I had to go in the small one because I figured that going in the big one would draw attention to me. So then I thought, so then when I saw that it was locked, I started shooting the door to see if I could unlock the, the lock, and then that drew attention to them, and then we had to kill them. So it's my ineptitude at, at being an outlaw. I like how they consider $45 to be a robbery. It's just interesting how money has expanded in, since these days. Like, $45 isn't even enough to buy Red Dead Redemption 2, but it is enough to consider a robbery successful back in these days. This barn, right here? Oh, the doors are opening magically for me. Oh no, there's a guy in there. Okay, cool. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Jose. It was mostly art. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. Find any other coaches that need selling. I'll see what I can offer you for. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, Jim. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I gotta make some money because when I started playing this morning, I was in that big city, St. Denis or whatever it's called, and I hadn't played in a while, so I was, wasn't was used to the controls, and I accidentally fired my gun. I didn't hit anything, I just fired it, and then some law guy came up and started shooting at me, and then I started shooting at them, and before I knew it, I had a $65 bounty after dying, because when it's just you against, like, eight men, you can't win. So I either have to stay away from St. Denis right now, or I have to find a way of making money to pay off that bounty. Which is a shame, because the best place that I know of so far to go get money is in St. Denis, because there's a fence there. You can now sell stolen wagons to Seamus at the Wagon Fence in Emerald Ranch. Okay. I like how every time you complete a mission, it adds new abilities for you to do in the game. And at first, I was re I, like, I, I have this giant, beautiful hardcover walkthrough book because this is a really big game, and there's a lot of things that it doesn't tell you. I guess it's just expecting a lot of people to have already played Red Dead One, and I did, but I didn't really. I, I, I played it a lot, but not. I didn't really get that absorbed in it, and I didn't really. Sir, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. 
I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. I like how the letter actually says what she's saying. That's a nice attention to detail. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Hmm. Let's see, I might want to shave for this. All facial hair. There. Clean shave. And, uh... Oh, that's right, I... Yeah, so this walkthrough book that I have was telling me a bunch of things about how you're able to do things to your horse, and the game was telling me that you can do things with your horse, but it turns out that you had to actually do a couple of missions in the game before you even unlock those abilities for your horse. Um, okay, now, first of all, I should probably go here and reload my ammo, and I gotta think whether I want to do something with John or go talk to this lady. I'm probably gonna wanna... Ooh, what's this? Do do... I don't know what this is about. Maybe this is a thing from their past. Here, get some ammo here. One thing I don't like about this game is that everything is so slow. Like when you're searching a guy, you have to hold the button down to confirm that you want to search him, and then he slowly reaches for the person and then searches them. It's kind of tedious. And I mean, it's a gorgeous game and the graphics are incredible, but I personally would have rather they tone down the graphics in order to have the game run at 60. Because I thought the whole point of the PS4 was to have games that could run at 60. Like, I'm pretty sure Infamous Second Son runs at 60. Uh, how do you get on my horse again? This? This. Yeah, and I named him Trigger. My grandpa was watching me play because I, I got this game back when I was in Winnipeg for Christmas of 2018. And my grandpa was watching me play. He likes to do that. We have... We have a lot of good times playing video games. It started with Spyro was our very first one, and it's just gradually evolved into some of the more things as consoles have been getting more and more advanced. Like, he loves Skyrim, he loves Fallout, he likes games like this. So he suggested naming him Trigger. I named him, uh, I named this horse uh, Spirit originally, and then he suggested maybe name it Trigger after uh, a character in a movie that he's familiar with that I don't know, and it just kind of stuck. Because I could have named it Silver or some... No, no, I'm sorry. The original name was Hidalgo after that movie starring... I forget his name. The guy who played Aragorn in the Lord of the Rings movies. Viggo Mortensen. It's a cool name. Viggo. I think he's Irish, so it's pretty cool. But I gotta go to town before I do anything. And I think I have enough money to pay off my bounty, so... We're gonna go... Oops. Wait, I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Uh, hang on. Let me figure this out here. Uh, let's... Oh yeah, we're not even going in the right way. We need to get the Valentine, which is... where? Yeah, see, this is where I have my bounty, so... Am I going in the right direction for this? Yes, I am, okay. Yeah, we need to get to the... Gunsmith. Where is he here? Here he is, the gunsmith. But there's also... where where is it? Here. Here. The post office. This guy. This is what you want. Idiot. 
I haven't really gotten too far into this yet. I think I'm still only in Chapter 2, but based on my first initial impressions, I feel like overall Red Dead Redemption 1 is a better game. This game is an improvement on the, the things of Red Dead Redemption in a lot of ways, but you're, play, you're playing as an outlaw, and you're not really redeeming yourself. You're just trying to keep your gang alive, whereas in Red Dead Redemption 1, you were playing as John Marston, and he was trying to redeem himself so that he could do some things. It's not a bad game, but I feel like the story... I feel like this game isn't quite as story-driven. Although... Although I haven't gotten very far into it. It might get better, but this is just my initial impressions, which might change. And the things that I don't like about this game aren't things that I can blame on the game, it's just I need to get better at them. Whoop! Jeez! Crap! Ooh. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Completely did not mean to do that. My, that was completely my fault. I was trying to pay my bounty. I'm so sorry. You okay, dude? I hope I didn't kill you. Come on. It's fine. It's fine. I don't want any trouble. Go ahead. Take it up with the law. I'm a complete asshole. I was totally, totally made a mistake. I feel horrible. Oh my god, I can't believe I just shot that poor guy. <laughs> I'm such an idiot! <laughs> I told you I haven't played in a while. And it even says right at the bottom to... I'm not gonna hurt you, I promise. I'll... Oh, my weapon is out. Maybe that's why. Okay, I think I'm okay now. I'm just gonna leave, and then I'm gonna come back and pay my bounty, and apologize. They still want me? Alright. Where are they? I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight, guys. I don't want to fight. I surrender. I'm not fighting you guys. I don't want this. I'm sorry. I, I, I won't do it again. I'll be more careful in the future. I don't want any trouble. I want to pay my bounty and be a nice person. Well, fine, if that's how you want to be. If we're going to talk this through... Duel! I got him in the leg somehow. Fine. If we can't talk this through, then we'll have to shoot our way out of this. I wanted to be civil, but apparently they don't want that. These guys can take a lot of bullets before they die. Jesus. I shot you like three times. Four times. There we go. Whoa, crap, I'm dying. Uh, Satchel? Satchel? Uh, cut game, mate. Plain game. Oh, I'm dead. Oh well. Had to end eventually. But now hopefully I'll get a chance to actually pay my bounty, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. Why can't you defuse these guys? I mean, yeah, I shot a guy in the game, but it was completely an accident. I wasn't trying to shoot him. Like in Skyrim, you can tell them, Here, I'm sorry, I'll, take, I'll pay my bounty. Why can't you pay them your bounty? Alright, now where did I end up now? Oh god. See, now I've got a huge bounty there too, and that's not what I wanted. It's because I suck at this game. Alright, go to the post office, and I'll pay my bounty. And then we'll move on with our life. I should have enough for everything, I think. I 
feel like the only problem with this is that there's not really a benefit to being an outlaw. Or at least I'm not good enough at the game yet to be able to kill a bunch of people, rake up an infamous thing on that scale, and then still be able to go to different places. Like, if you keep killing people, you're going to get bounties in all those places, and people are going to shoot you on sight when you get there. So I don't understand why you would even want to do that in the first place. It feels like in, in order to, to be successful in this game, you have to be a nice guy, which is what I was trying to do. You all saw that. I did not intentionally shoot that guy. I wonder if it's going to be the same guy here, and he's going to be like, Dude, you're the one that shot me. Alright, now, we need to get in the door here. I like that sound he's making. <laughs> here. Hey, Bounty. This time I won't shoot you. Alright, well, I only have enough to pay off one right now. I'm, I'm sorry for shooting you. I'm an asshole. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go, uh, you know, do some other stuff now. And then I can't go to Lemoyne for a while because I need more money to pay my bounty. Uh, where'd my horse go? Oh, here. Come here, boy. Oops. Wrong button. Come here, trigger! to go this way? Yeah. Because her name, her name was Mary Linton, and then she said she was up this way, so if that's where the thing is that I'm getting closer to Valentine. Excellent. Now, let's, uh... Queasy feeling you've been having? I think that's because there's so many O'Driscolls about. Morning. Who exactly are these O'Driscolls? It doesn't do a very good job explaining who these people are. Alright, but I should have enough money to clean my guns now. I feel like it's overall cheaper and more efficient to just have somebody clean them for you. Because I never remember to have anything on me that will let me clean them myself, so... Oh, my core's almost dead. I should eat something. Um, okay, let's do this. There, that'll do. Yeah, good to see you too. Uh, you can help me uh, clean my guns if you don't mind. Uh, clean. Now this one's good. We wanted. Uh, where was it here? I don't know if he can clean all my guns. This is clean. And he might not be able to clean all the weapons I have on me. I like to make all my guns look the same, so I'm, I'm working on having them all look like this. Except this one. I haven't done that yet. The double barrel. Yeah, I don't think he can clean it for me. But, uh, can he... Does he sell gun oil so I can clean it myself? Accessories, maybe? No, wrong way. Here we go. Gun oil. Yeah. I'll buy two of those, and maybe three more total. Permanently increases capacity. See, I never have a problem with the ammo. I have a problem with how many I can have on it at one time, and that's a lot of money. Although this could be pretty useful. Permanently slows degradation for all weapons by 20%. I might buy that. And then I just gotta make sure I can kill some more people and do some more missions. I find that's the easiest way to get money in this game. That should be good. Thank you. Now, let's, uh... Let's do this. And we wanted to switch it to... Oops, hang on. I'll figure this out. Oops. Uh, maintain. There. Clean. Probably shouldn't be doing this out in public, but whatever. Uh, 
Oh, I see. I have to have my horse out. That's why. So, where did Trigger go? Trigger! Come here, boy! It's not a dog. I keep talking to it like it's a dog. Alright, come here, boy. Uh, you should have my one that I wanted here. This one. This is the one I like. Midnight's Pistol. I'm gonna swap this out. Yeah, I know. So now we can maintain it because I bought some gun oil. Yeah, this is the one I use. You can tell because it's got the gold on it. So we're gonna clean this. Oh yeah, wow, look at how dirty it was. It's kind of satisfying to watch all those values go back up. Alright, now we're gonna holster it, because I don't want anyone to come after me. Now let's find the general store. Let's we'll switch to fir first person mode again. It's kind of cool. I can't believe I didn't know you could do this. I feel like an idiot. Um, now let's see. Maybe we'll go talk to the... Doctor, maybe? I don't think I have very much money, but we'll see if I have anything he'll buy from me. Ah, I remember that face. My medicine's been keeping you healthy, I trust. Uh, uh sell. Let me just stock up on my supplies. Fully restores health, stamina, and dead eye. I don't need that. Okay, I'll buy that. Don't need that. Don't need this. 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 I can keep that. Don't need this. Horse Reviver. That's worth a lot of money, but I should probably keep at least one. That's all he can buy from me. Uh, oops, wrong way. I, did, I don't want to do this. I mean to be buying from you. Let me see what you have for purchasing, good sir. Oh yes, you have to hold the button. That's right. Uh, how about tonics? Uh, let's do... How many do I have on me? I'll buy two. Uh, pages. Do you have hair grow tonic? Hair grow tonic? Is that here? No, I don't think he sells that. I think I'm at the wrong store. Plenty of other essentials in here. Thanks. I wonder if I can sell any of my guns. Will he buy any of them? I've got a lot of pistols, and I only need two. Uh, no, you can't sell to him. It's a shame, because I got so many guns that I would never probably need them. I only need, like, one pistol. I did part of that, um... What do you call it? I did part of that mission where you, um... have to find those gunslingers, and then each one you kill... Except for Black Bell, because you don't kill Black Bell. <laughs> I knew you'd be back. And, uh, what have you got? Well, let's, let's see. Here are tonics. Here we go. Greatest hair tonic. Here. I'm gonna buy one, two, three. Alright, I'm just gonna load, I'm just gonna load you out. So now, I've paid up my bounty in the places that I go to most often. So now all I really have to do now is stay away from St. Denis until I earn enough money to pay my bounty at any other place because I don't even have to go to St. Denis in order to buy stuff from them or to, in order to pay my bounty so that's pretty useful do you have, can I sell anything to you? a perfect rabbit pelt that's only worth a dollar fifteen I'm probably never going to use that now let's open the satchel and we're gonna drink some of this And we're gonna drink some of this. And what the hell? Let's chug some more. Tastes like chicken. Alright, so. 
may or may not do another couple of onesies, but that's all the time I have for this episode of Game on Onesies. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you right back here in the very near future where we may or may not play more Red Dead Redemption 2. And until next time, peace out, and as always, Game on. See ya!